Okay, guys, what's going on? Coach Roberts here. Hey, so we're we're gonna we're gonna work off the inside tie, right? And that head pressure is critical. Okay, so when you go and capture that tie, make sure your head's down there. Now we're not up here, ear to ear, and the double collar and doing this. Okay, my hand is down. I'm moving into the guy and catching that right here. Okay. Now my footwork is important here. Okay, my footwork is important. I want to just talk a little bit about that. Okay, there are times when we're moving, okay, try to move a, a certain leg, okay, but I want to concentrate on keeping my leg forward that I really want to shoot with. And some of you guys are pretty good, maybe, at being able to attack with both feet forward, okay, but for a lot of you, at least early on, okay, simplicity. When I'm pulling the guy, I don't want this foot forward for me if I want to attack this leg, so I don't want to be going back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna work my footwork here. I'm gonna work my footwork. This leg is open. Okay, just a, a little bit on that. Okay, so you work in arcs. Yes, we pressure forward. Okay, yes, we pull the guy, but when we do, it's a little bit of a circle, and it's here. Never really believe in, in pulling the guy this way, getting on my heels, going from right foot forward, to left foot forward, to off, being off balance. Okay, right here, we're pulling down. We're pulling down. Again, if we can always pull the guy all the way down, we're gonna do it. It's a two-man sport, okay, it's a two-man sport. We got a good wrestler here, okay? Action, reaction, wrestler. Action, the pull, the tie-up, the setup. boom, heavy, heavy iron hands, pulling, gotta pull him back a little bit. Give me an opening for my leg attack. Okay, I'm going just to the strong side, inside tie here, strong side high crotch. Okay, pulling here. Guys, just coming up a little bit, dropping your shoulder over your knee, penetrating through the opening. Now, once you get here, this is a problem area. This is a problem area. If kids wrestling, high school wrestling, okay, and, and, as you go up, <laughs> high level, good guys right here. But look, look, I can help myself. My elbow's in. My elbow's in. Now push. Okay? In other words, I don't want hips out and I don't want hanging on down here. Okay? I don't want my hips behind my chest. Up. Up. Head pressure. Head pressure. Okay? Biggest thing as you go up in the level is remember that you got to continue to wrestle. You know, I know everybody's heard that wrestle, wrestle, wrestle. Hey, you got to get to the hold and you got to expect that that guy's going to battle. The higher level you go, the finishes get tougher, right? But when, as you go up through the ranks, I'm not going to get away with getting in here and hanging on, okay? I got to knee up, knee up, get that head going across, that head pressure, okay? And let my, my, my knee drive, my legs, my head, and the weight's already transferred to the far foot, okay? Now, boom, driving it down, okay? Let's talk a little bit about where I want my hips and where I want that angle. Okay? And pull. Okay? When I get to the hold right here, let's turn this way. I get to the hold right here. Leaving this foot right behind me, okay? I, feel, I feel strong right here. But guys, when I drive to my feet, which if I, if I, if I have a choice, I want to finish driving through a guy to take any of the BS away, any of the 50-50s, even in the scrambling, the ankle roll and the dropping over the top, anything, okay? Watch here. My body, biomechanically, if I step up right here, I lose my hips a little bit. Most people have been right here, okay? And they're wrestling a good guy. They start running for the finish, and they lose it, okay? Great partner, by the way. I want to get a little angle. I want to get a little angle. I'm pulling. I get that reaction to my action. Okay, he comes up a little bit, attack, and get this angle right here. Get this angle. Now, two things. I don't have this weight on me right here. I have a little bit of an angle, and when I step up, my hips are in, and I can run it down. Some guys, I might finish right there. Some guys, it might take me out to the parking lot, right? As I put the weight there, as I put the weight there, I'm going to the double, and I'm gonna run my feet. 
Okay? One more time again. Let's go through it slow right here. Okay? If I'm in the position, right here, if I'm in the position and my foot's behind me, okay, I come up and I'm, I'm mostly trying to take him down with my arms. I'm driving, I lost my hips, I'm mostly trying to use my arms and back muscles, which aren't a match for a good set of hips. I'm running, 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 and I'm right here. Now, if he's a good wrestler, which he is, he's already thinking counterattack. Okay? He's already running the angle on me as my hands hit the ground, the weight on my hands. I gotta minimize that. Okay? We have enough guys that when we get here have enough. Okay, really stingy defense, and but we don't we don't want to give them an easy one. We've got to really work. I hit here, right? And I'm pushing away this time. Boom! Angle. Angle. Okay? Hand. Right up back of that knee, right above it. Here. Okay? Watch this leg come up. And there's our two. Right? Now, again, we talk about having an attack to both sides of the body. Okay? Have an attack, at least a respectable attack to both sides of the body. Right? So, if you ask me, coach, hey, Robert, hey, what do you want to do? Where, where, where do you want to be the most? Right? For me, boom, this is where I want to be. Okay? Good wrestler. Okay? Boom, legs back. I'm going to attack this side of the body. Elbow to the knee. Okay? Elbow to the knee. A little jab step a lot of times with this back one. Okay? If I shoot right here, I get off balance a lot of time, right? I'm, I'm, I, I didn't deliver my hips in enough. Guy can knock me over. Right, so a lot of time on that sweep, okay, on that sweep, on that near arm far leg, boom, there's just a little step here. Step here, okay? Elbow to the knee, okay? Elbow to the knee. Sometimes, if I'm fortunate, I'll be able to keep it and dump him, okay? Rotate my knees, rotate my knees, boom. Sometimes, I'll lose the arm. He'll get the arm out of there, but then I'm in a nice single leg position. Okay? Boom. Right here. Okay, right here. Work. Yeah, I got to keep my head above the belt. Head goes up below the belt. It's this situation. Head's above the belt. Get your leg back. Okay? Start working the angle. Rotate the knees. Shelf. Shelf. Okay? we we'll go more, one more time on that. See for both angles. Okay. Again. Elbow to the knee. Elbow to the knee. Okay. Load it up. Pull the arm. Push with the head. Rotate knees. Lose the arm. Still in a very good situation. One key here. I want you to watch where the level is. We're not going here and going back out. We're doing this, coming up, okay? My shoulder is this high above my knee all the time. Lost it that time? Post the hand, post the hand. A lot of guys have a tendency to want to hang on right here with two hands, right? Hang on right here. Now I'm wrestling this guy. He's driving back into me. Drive back into me in square. Right here. I don't want to be there. Much rather be here. Okay? I lift the leg. Watch me lift the leg. Not lifting it with my arms. Right here. Okay? You got high crotch, you got near arm far leg, you got the threat there, opens up here. Okay? We work, you learn to use these together. Okay? One thing we really want to focus on. Okay, when we go into light drilling, is key components. 
of our stance, of the way we pull with our hands. So what I want a lot of my wrestlers to do that come and train with us, even when you're light drilling, even when you're learning things, be a person of habit, okay? Be a creature of habit. Even when I'm pulling right here, I'm pulling right here. Okay, yesterday I believe we worked a wrist exchange. I'm pulling right here, okay? Even when I'm real light drilling, I'm pulling with those, okay? I'm pulling with the hands. In other, in other words, minimize. I don't want standing up. I don't want hands just touching, okay? Pull, pull and pass. Pull, he circles up, pass. Pull down. A pull. Move to the angle, move to the angle. Cross pick. Pull, pull, and pull, and pull, and pull. He comes up. Pull, and he comes up. We want to be very deliberate about where we put our hands and when we put them. If it's here, if it's here, we're pulling. Okay? Here, pulling. Okay? Very rarely do I push with my arms. Okay? I grab with my arms, I might push with my body, and then pull. Okay? Let's just work that snap a little bit. Let's go through that snap, okay? Head pressure, head pressure, up in here, elbow in. Big difference in elbow in. Elbow's out, I don't have nearly the snap here. I don't have nearly the snap here, okay? When I go to snap, this one comes up. Okay, I gotta give them a place to fall, it's not on a single leg, okay? This one's down, or it might be on the wrist, okay? But it's not up here. This is giving this guy too, too many options here, okay? This is allowing this guy, if nothing else, to grab here and squeeze. And now when something's open, I can't get it free, even for me, to be able to attack. Right one's down. If you're right foot lead, right? Down. Now, let's work on that step, okay? Right there. Watch the foot, watch the hand, watch the head. It all moves. And over, of course, we're in slow motion. His hips go back, snap. Just do it. One, two. You gotta move your head to give him a place to clear that landing strip. If my head's in there, I can't, I can't snap through. Jab, watch the head go back. Okay? You do it, you get in a little groove, doing it here. get into your progressive drills. Snap, work to the angle. Okay. Good. This time you circle the other way. Your side pick. Head under. Okay. Now, Nate Dog, yeah. stands in motion. Right. What do we work on? We're what do we work on? You show me. 
footwork, guys. Footwork. Okay? You have to use your feet. And you look at the elbows. You look at the elbows. This guy's a good athlete, right? But this is something he's worked on. Good, good. Shake it out. How much have you worked on that? Most days than not over the last three or four months. Every day. Every day. For how long? Uh, like 15 minutes a day. Okay. So, hey, that right now where you're in a position where maybe you can't train in a full room every day, you have a mat, you don't have a mat, you can't emphasize enough your fundamentals, which start with your position and your stance and motion. Okay, you build up your fundamentals, you build up the mind power to stay in your stance, the mental toughness, the muscle conditioning, whatever you call it, but really your athleticism too, your footwork, guys. Okay, this is something every day. You warm up the way you want, and you know, all the rooms are different. For me, I want guys practicing wrestling skill. I might jog a little bit, and you know, do this, and have a wrestling position, wrestling position, wrestling position, boom, knockout. Shot, shot, snap, snap, shot, shot. Try to never come out of your stance. Never come out of your stance. Boom. Okay. That's just an example. There's always something you can do. Okay. You get to decide how you're going to use every day to try to get a little bit better, no matter what the conditions. No matter what the conditions are. If you've got a mat, if you've got a facility, if you've got a partner, if you don't have a partner. Okay. You want to know more? Keep following, man. RobertsWrestling.com. At Roberts Wrestling Instagram, K Roberts 118, Twitterverse, and that's it for right now.